Hi guys, Mel Jackson here. Um, I just want to tell you the story um, from when I was a kid um, to right up until how I got Snowflake and how I met Snowflake. So um, I have a lot of mental health issues and when I was a kid I was sexually assaulted and raped. So I've had a lot to deal with. Um, more than one person did it. Um, they didn't, uh, get, like, charged or anything for it. Um, I didn't know what to do because I was just a kid. And as soon as I told someone, they just pretty much called me a joke and just pretty much laughed at me and said, you know, you don't go say them things because you get an innocent person in trouble. And... I told them that I was not lying and everything like that, but they still didn't believe me. Um, yeah, I didn't get diagnosed with mental health problems until, yeah, I think it was about in my early 20s. Um, I, I was just really aggro, really ag angry with people, and I didn't want to be near anybody. I got bullied at school. I really hated school, except for when sports days come, because I really like sports. Um, I've had to deal with that for quite a while, since I was young. So, um, I've been moved place to place, and as an adult, I still move place to place, but um, now I'm just trying to um, get my life in order. So hopefully I can do that and do it for the better. Um, my ex, um, I kept going back to and I thought he'd changed and he didn't change and was really abusive, um, kept bringing up my past and stuff like that so one day I got the courage to actually one day get up and leave um I got up and left a few times but I always went back to him I don't know why but um maybe because I thought I loved him but obviously I didn't um because he was too abusive um he had a bit of push and shove and stuff like that, but that was about it. Um, had the cops called on us and stuff like that, but um, just for domestic violence or whatever it's called. Uh, verbal abuse, I mean, whatever it is, I'm not sure what it's called. Um, but yeah, one day I got up and actually left him for good. Um, my family told me not to go back to him, but... Um, I kept going back to him. Unfortunately, I didn't listen to my family. And they knew better than I did that he was no good. Um, but, uh, um, yeah, just being young, you don't listen to people who know better. And I moved from Newcastle or Windale, Newcastle, whatever you like to call it, um, to Kingswood. From Kingswood to Cogra, from Cogra to Jindabyne, to Jindabyne to be Portland again so I've moved from heaps of places to places to places even when I was a child I was moved place to place school to school so I've had a lot to deal with since I was a kid I didn't actually think that I would actually be here today um because I felt like cutting up and suicidal and stuff like that and then finally I left my ex for good and hoping to get a divorce soon um because he's such an asshole he blames everything on me and he can't blame anything on himself um but uh I left him and I've left him for good I've blocked him on messenger facebook Pretty much everything you can think of. So, um, he was texting my mum and dad and ringing my mum and dad. So, um, yeah, they don't like him either. But, um, moral of the story is I'm still here. 
uh, um, I've tried mental, um, I've tried medication and stuff like that, but it doesn't work, so what I do is I deal with it on my own, because I feel like the professionals don't exactly listen, they just tell you what they want to tell you, they don't listen to your side of the story, and if they do, well, they just stick up for the other person, and that's not what they're supposed to do, they're supposed to sit there and listen, and give you advice, and stuff like that, well, I've just given up on the doctors, and stuff like that, and the medical people, because they never help me, and I feel like they never will, so... I just tried to deal with my mental health problems on my own and um, the way I deal with them is keep myself busy um, and do diamond paintings or um, lawn mowing and stuff like that. Whatever I can do to keep myself occupied, I, can, I will do it. So, because I don't want to end up in a mental health hospital or anything like that. So, I try to deal with it by myself. Um, I don't cut anymore. I don't really feel suicidal anymore. So, that's really good. I'm happy to um, just be here at the moment. So, struggle by struggle, day by day. Um, So, if you guys are listening or watching at the moment, um, I understand how some of you feel going through mental health issues because I have from myself. I've never been diagnosed properly, so I just, when people ask, I just say, well, I haven't been diagnosed properly, so I just have a bit of everything so, cause I really don't know what I have, but I've been diagnosed with mental health, so, um, yeah, and it's really hard, um, to get through the day by day, but the only people that, um, really help me is my partner, my mum and dad, and Snowflake, but we'll get to Snowflake in the next uh, video, which I'll probably be putting up tonight as well, so, as I said, I know how you guys feel with mental health problems, um, they're not all the same, some are different, yeah, and this is why you shouldn't bully anybody, because you don't know why they're being a bully, or why they're bullying you so if you're gonna bully just you know ask them at least try and help them and ask them why are you bullying or why are you like this try and help them because when they become suicidal it's really hard to talk talk them out of it and i was like that once as well so i'm actually glad that I'm still here today to actually tell you guys this so if you like if you like this um video um like subscribe and comment cheers guys I hope you guys watch this cheers